Dear friends, welcome to AS American English Center. Take your Webster's New World Letter Writing Book. We have come here to the page number 417, 418. We have come here to the letter writing 108. Refusing to pay a bill. The first is you buy a product, you get a letter, right? You buy a product, you get a letter. You buy a washing machine, you told. You buy a laptop, you buy a computer you get a invoice bill then you pay the amount right you get the same laptop in emi equal monthly installment right then you get a collection letter what is that collection letter is called that you have to pay the amount every 30 days right collection letter number three letter what is that suppose if you are not able to pay one month housing loan second month you get a due date letter already it is passed you have to pay the month or we, we will fine you right this is a serious letter sometimes you get a letter from the bank or the company stating that you have to pay but you already you have paid you no need to pay right you have finished all the equal monthly installment of house or car or whatever the amount you have to settle to the bank you have settled but still you are getting a letter stating that you must pay the amount Sometimes credit card uh, holders they may get right even after paying the company may write a letter stating that we have already uh, I mean you have to pay the amount balance so please pay it on due date but already you have paid then you write a letter to the customer to the company saying that I have already paid see the bill here why do you want to unnecessarily write a letter and harass me so this is refusing to pay a bill I am not going to pay a bill this is what you write a letter by just by telephoning it is no use just by emailing it is no use so when you go in for writing then later if you have a litigation court problems this letter will be useful refusing to pay a bill see keep in mind that just because you send collection letter doesn't mean the customer actually owes you the money we have just seen the word owe returning back right simply i am writing a letter i am the seller you are the buyer I am writing a letter does not mean that you have to pay me the money sometimes wrongly I might have write, written a letter. So, it does not mean that you have to owe me the money sometimes there may be a dispute or even an error dispute means what a misunderstanding or sometimes an error that is why your collection series should always be polite and cordial. So, whenever I am writing a letter collection letter I should be very polite very cordial friendly i shouldn't be very serious if the person you accuse of being a dead beat is not what do you mean by dead beat fellow who doesn't work fellow always uh, his father is rich so he is taking the money from his father or uh, getting money from somebody who is very influential in money he is called dead beat so if the person you accuse of being a dead beat means what you buy a car you are not paying the money you are misusing our institution you are a dead beat means what you are trying to cheat us the relationship with that customer is destroyed completely destroyed he will never come back to you right this is what's happening in ready many many credit card cases so when on the receiving end of a collection effort for money you do not believe you owe suppose if you get a letter already you have paid you it is not necessary for you to owe you will have to resolve the matter in writing so you have to write a letter for example structure of the letter should be identify the disagreement and give evidence for your argument so i get a letter i have to pay one lakh i say i already paid so i have to send my proof identify the disagreement i don't agree that i have to pay you one lakh and i have to give my bill clearly state the outcome you desire so what is the outcome you desire please clear and close my accounts i inappropriate state what action you are prepared to take to ensure just outcome so you could write a letter stating that if you keep sending the bill i am going to go to court in by expressing your confidence in reaching a mutually agreeable solution write a letter to stating them see i don't need to pay i have already paid let us both sit together and solve the matter you can come for an agreeable solution so the phrases in the letter should be 
the words in the letter should be the sentences in the letter of uh, refusing to pay a bill should be according to my records according to my records i no need to pay you the money i am not liable for i am not liable for paying you the money I have enclosed a copy of uh, <coughs> i have enclosed a copy of all the amount which i have sent and i got the receipts uh, have no recollection of uh, seems to be an error in i think there is a error in your calculation receive notification that i have got a notification that i have to pay you the money if i don't receive a bill with the correct charge by next month by next month you have to send the correct bill telephone postcard connection uh, i spoke only for 2000 rupees you are putting a bill for 5000 rupees so make it correction by next month or else i will report your office to the better business bureau and seek legal uh, legal representation to protect my credit rating so if you keep on doing that i'm going to legally complain please send me a letter uh, <clears throat> acknowledging please contact me immediately regarding this problem if the error is yours please remove the charge from my account please remove the extra amount from my account correct my balance please correct the balance and send a letter describing this correction and after correcting please send a letter thank you for correcting this error so thank you for correcting this error error i trust that this time you will correct your records it appears that this is a simple oversight so oversight means what you have not bothered to look at it very carefully thank you for your prompt attention to this matter so these are the handy phrases that you have to write so a letter letter written by kelly jacobs kelly jacob is the customer the dear mr smith smith is the vendor vendor means what the fellow who is selling he is the customer who oh, jacob is the customer smith is the seller smith has wrongly written that he has to pay the money who has to pay the money jacob so jacob writes a letter to smith stating that you are you have mistakenly written so please take it off see here i am sure that you value having a good name with the investment community <coughs> what do you mean by that sarvana stores is a business who are the investment uh, community investment community it is the customers right so i am sure that you value you value the customers that you value having a good name with the investment community investment community are the customers investment community so good name so lalita jewelers have a good name with the investment community sarvana stores have a good uh, what is that uh, name with the investment community i am surprised that you continue to send me i am surprised that you continue to send me payment notices since i was offered a free trial of your newsletter right free trial means what you want to buy a maruti car you get a free trial free driving immediately that fellow puts a bill right the car is with him you have to pay 5 lakhs then what will you do like that so he did a free trial but he was billed i have repeatedly indicated that i have no interest in the buying selling newsletter this fellow just uh, had a free trial but he was not interested in buying i have repeatedly marked cancel on your invoices as your initial offer indicated <clears throat> so i cancelled it enclosed please find that original offer as your offer indicates this will end the matter with no cost to me so in the free trial it has given nobody is to be charged but you see that um wouldn't be embarrassed to learn that uh, annoying collection letters were sent to individuals who took him at his word i expect this matter to end now so i want to close it now please don't send bills i have clearly told that i am not interested you just gave a free trial now you are asking money so tips for writing a letter disputing a bill say who you do not own the money you have to tell i am not responsible to pay you the money as a customer back up the statement with as much proof as you can provide you have to prove with the letter housing loan you have taken you have paid everything so you have to say this is what i have paid i cleared the bills you express your annoyance of being billed for something you did not order or did not find satisfactory i tell you have not spoken that only they have put a bill for 3000 5000 so you tell why you are unsatisfied 
tell the reader what you expect to happen tell the vendor what he should do example you want them to stop billing you you want them to stop to bill you credit your account credit your account in proper way replace the product replace the product or redo the service redo the service means what close the service so dear friends so what is this all about you are getting a letter asking to pay an amount which you have not done which you have not used or which you have already paid right i have done all those things i have paid everything i don't have to pay any anybody any amount still i keep getting letters asking me to pay asking me to pay for the services and products which i shouldn't do because i have already done it what i have to do it is called refusing to pay bill right sir so now each one of you are there each one of you would be getting one particular situation let us see how they speak right sir let us start with the uh, this gentleman please come forward yes you you come you can sit in that sofa huh? now you are a atel consumer atel customer you get a bill right it is a post paid you have used only uh, on uh, 10 calls or 50 calls but they have charged you 5000 rupees that you have to pay so how do you write a letter to the atel customer service saying that i am not going to pay the bill and uh, you want them or you will go for court i am not going to pay 5000 rupees so what you do uh dear mohan uh, uh i am a privileged customer of atel uh, last 10 years uh already i have received it uh, two three times uh i have already paid the bill but i have received it two three times uh, earlier this is my third time i have received it uh, i paid it, uh, i paid my bill before my due date but uh, i have received a bill again but uh, and i have used my calls in Uh, more than uh, 20 calls but uh, here uh, i check my details but here the 30 calls so the, uh, this is uh, third time uh, i hear uh, from you uh, this service is not uh, good but i want mention here my uh, opinion please, uh, please take this as noticed immediately thank you yes please you come sir you purchased a bike <coughs> a honda bike in emi equal monthly installment for 2 years you have paid all the emi but uh, 24 months you have paid the emi right next after 24 months uh, once you have cleared everything they are asking you to pay once again for 6 more month you tell i have the bill i have paid please uh, close it down i it is not necessary for me to pay hiron as a big company so please close it down or i am going to go for a legal issue how do you say Dear, Mo- Dear Mohan, I have buy a new bike. I have uh, easy to do installment on uh, easy to install installment. Uh, I have finished all the installment, but uh, you have bill have send uh, send and passed on six month. Uh, I immediately you can you can uh, re- report the issue. I have uh, finished all the EMIs, but uh, you can send the send the bill. uh this issue is uh, i have uh, report legally uh, report, report to the company is a solve with the pro- problem thank you okay yes uh, yes you come so gentlemen you are having a credit card you are having a credit card you with your wife and children go to one big uh, sarvana stores you purchase goods you purchase for 8000 rupees right the credit card company is writing a bill asking you to pay 80000 rupees credit card it happens right with interest 10% interest so 88000 rupees he purchased only for 8000 rupees they have put 88000 80000 rupees as bill and 8000 rupees as 10% interest raised suddenly they are asking you you are shocked you are bewildered you don't know what to do so you are requesting them please change this i have never purchased do whatever you can 
to stop this uh, extra billing. Yes. Uh, I am from, I am the customer of HDFC Bank. Dear manager, uh, you have put your bill uh, for me 80,000 80, rupees. I have purchased, purchased in the credit card uh, for 8,000 rupees only. I think you wrongly put added on cyber at the end of the 8,000. Please ch recheck the bill and uh, uh, again you send me the correct, correct amount. Please uh, consider about it. Otherwise, I will go to the consumer court and uh, take the action upon you. Yes, Mr. Rohini, please come forward. There is a situation for you. You being a housewife, you go to Lalita Jewelry, buy 5 sovereigns of gold on credit basis. <coughs> Initially, they told 1 sovereign of gold is 25,000 rupees. You agreed for 5 sovereigns of gold, it is 1,25,000. You purchased and came. After 10 days, they are writing a letter stating that you must pay damage cost because of making that particular jewelry extra 5,000 rupees taxation extra 3,000, 8,000 you have to pay, right? One sovereign of gold is 25,000 rupees. You paid 1,25,000 and bought the jewelry. That time they did not mention about the tax. Now they are writing a letter asking you, you have to pay 5, 10 uh, percent tax. You have to pay for damages which were uh, done while making the jewelry. For that also you have to pay 5,000. So, 8 plus 5, 13,000 rupees you have to pay. You tell, no, I am not going to pay because earlier we have never spoken about that. We spoke only for 25,000. How do you say? Uh, dear Lalta Jewelry, last so and so on date, I yes, bought sir, a, uh, one necklace in your shop. Uh, that cost was uh, 1,25,000. That time I, pay, I paid a full amount. But uh, recently I received a letter from you. Uh, that was extra amount uh, 30,000 uh, you pay you pay extra amount you pay 30,000 rupees for for uh, for you in that uh, letter mean but I don't pay uh, uh, that amount because of uh, I already paid the proper amount uh, that day please consider this uh, uh, this notice and uh, once check the bill and uh, in your uh, systems. Thank you. Yes, Ms. Priya. Ms. Priya, please come. You have purchased a flat. The value of the flat is, uh, please come. You have purchased a new flat. The flat is uh, 50 lakhs rupees, right? So, uh, monthly they told you have to pay 10,000 rupees. You agreed. 10,000 rupees. 50 lakhs she purchased a flat. 25 lakhs she has paid in advance. For remaining 25 lakhs you have to pay monthly uh, 10,000 rupees. Right? This is what the agreement. Suddenly the finance company after 3 months they have increased uh, from 10 to 13,000. They are asking you you have to pay 13,000 rupees because bank rate and all those things. You telling no I am not because already we sp uh, spoke only for 10,000. Suddenly, you are asking 13,000. I cannot uh, adjust the money because of my income, because of my family budget. I can give only 10,000 rupees. If not, I am ready to go for legal court. So, how do you say? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, you, you. Yes, you can you do. Come, come, come forward. Come. Same condition, right? Yes. Huh? You buy a flat, 50 lakhs. 25 lakhs you pay in cash advance, 25 lakhs you pay for loan, right? Monthly 10,000 rupees you have to pay to finance company, right? Bank. Suddenly bank is saying monthly you have to pay 13,000 rupees after 3 months. You say no, because my family commitment expenses are there, I am not going to pay 13,000. Earlier we have spoken only for 10,000, I will give only 10,000 or else I will go to court. Yes, say. Good evening, sir. We are, I am the ca customer of your uh, mm. housing. I will buy the customer. 
வீட்டுக்குற <laughs> அவசியம் இல்லை பேசிய நிபந்தனைப்படி ஒரு குறிப்பிட்ட தொகை தான் கொடுக்க வேண்டும் ஆனால் இவர்கள் டபுள் மடங்கு போட்டு விடுகிறார்கள் பில்லிலே நீங்கள் கொடுக்க வேண்டிய அவசியம் இல்லை அதுதான் நீங்கள் என்ன எழுத கடிதம் எழுதுகிறீர்கள் ரெஃப்யூசிங் டு பே பில் நான் கொடுக்க மாட்டேன் ரிலையன்ஸில் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா நீங்கள் பேசவே இல்லை அது அஞ்சாயிரம் ரூபான்னு போட்டு வச்சிடறார்கள் பில்லில் போஸ்ட் கார்டில் கிரெடிட் கார்டில் நீங்கள் பத்தாயிரம் ரூபாய்க்கு வாங்கியிருக்கிறீர்கள் ஒரு லட்சம் ரூபாய்க்கு பில்லு போட்டுறாங்க ஆக நீங்கள் ரெஃப்யூசிங் டு பே பில் அந்த கடிதத்தை நீ நிறுவனத்துக்கு எழுதி அந்த கடிதத்தை பத்திரமாக வைத்திருக்க வேண்டும் நாளைக்கு கோர்ட் கன்சியூமர் கோர்ட்டுக்கு போவதற்கு இது பயன்படக்கூடியதாக இருக்கும் அதுதான் ரெஃப்யூசிங் டு பே பில் யார் ரெஃப்யூஸ் பண்ணுவாங்க கஸ்டமர் டு த வெண்டர் வெண்டர் என்றால் என்ன விற்பனையாளன் செல்லர் கஸ்டமர் யார் நீ அல்லது வாடிக்கையாளன் பொருட்களை வாங்கக்கூடியவர்கள் கொடுக்க முடியாது என்று அனுப்பக்கூடிய கடிதம் அதனுடைய சொற்றொடர்கள் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் கடிதம் அமைப்பு சொற்றொடர்கள் இங்கே பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஒருவர் இப்போ ஸோ ஃப்ரீ ட்ரையலுக்கு யூஸ் பண்ணுறார் ஒரு பொருளை அதை விலைக்கு வாங்கியது போல் நினைத்து கொண்டு அந்த நிறுவனம் அவருக்கு பில் அனுப்புகிறது இவர் என்ன சொல்கிறார் நான் ஃப்ரீ ட்ரையல் தான் யூஸ் பண்ணேன் நீங்கள் என்ன செய்கிறீர்கள் அதை நான் வாங்கிவிட்டது ஃப்ரீ ட்ரையல்னா என்ன சார் வாட் யூ மீன் பை தேட் இப்போ உதாரணத்திற்கு நீங்கள் வந்தீங்கன்னா வாஷிங் மிஷின் சாஃப்ட்வேர்லேருந்து தான் வாஷிங் மிஷின் இருக்குது பத்து நாள் நீங்கள் அந்த வாஷிங் மிஷினை வச்சுக்கோங்க பிடிக்கலைன்னா திருப்பி கொடுத்துருங்க அதுதான் ஃப்ரீ ட்ரையல் ரைட்டா ஒரு கார் வாங்கிக்கிங்க எங்கள் கார் கம்பெனி கார் ஒன் மந்த் யூஸ் பண்ணுங்க பிடிக்கலைன்னா ரிட்டர்ன் பண்ணிடுங்க நீங்கள் கொடுத்த பணம் திருப்பி வந்துடும் அதுதான் ஃப்ரீ ட்ரையல் சாஃப்ட்வேர்லேயும் ஃப்ரீ ட்ரையல் ஸோ இந்த ஃப்ரீ ட்ரையல் என்றால் ஒரு பொருட்களை நிறுவனம் உங்களுக்கு கொடுக்கிறது நீங்கள் அதற்கு பணத்தை கட்டுப்பிடிக்கிறீர்கள் அந்த பொருளை உபயோகப்படுத்துகிறீர்கள் பிடிக்கவில்லை என்றால் அந்த பொருளை அவர்களுக்கிடம் திருப்பி கொடுத்துட்டு அந்த பணத்தை வாங்குவது தான் ஃப்ரீ ட்ரையல் ஸோ நான் ஃப்ரீ ட்ரையல் தான் யூஸ் பண்ணேன் பணத்தையும் வாங்கிட்டேன் நீங்கள் வந்து மறுபடியும் நீங்கள் பில் போட்டு பணம் கொடுக்க கொடுன்னு கேட்கிறீர்கள் நான் கொடுக்க மாட்டேன் நான் வழக்கு தொடுப்பேன் என்று எச்சரிக்கை விடுத்தும் விதமாக கெல்லி ஜேக்கப்ஸ் மிஸ்டர் ஸ்மித்துக்கு கடிதம் எழுதுகிறார் ஸோ இந்த டிப்ஸ் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா சே ஹூ யூ டு நாட் ஓவ் த மணி எதற்காக நீங்கள் பணம் கொடுக்க கூடாது கொடுக்க தேவையில்லை ஓவ் என்றால் என்ன கடன் பட்டிருத்தல் அதை நீங்கள் தெளிவாக சொல்ல வேண்டும் பேக் அப் த ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் வித் ஆஸ்மிச் ப்ரூஃப் ஆஸ் யூ கேன் ப்ரொவைட் சாட்சிகள் நீங்கள் சொல்ல வேண்டும் நான் ஆயிரம் ரூபாய்க்கு தான் பேசினேன் டெலிஃபோனில் நீங்கள் வந்து அஞ்சாயிரம் ரூபாய்க்கு பத்தாயிரம் ரூபாய்க்கு பில் போட்டு இருக்கிறீர்கள் நான் பத்தாயிரம் ரூபாய்க்கு தான் லலிதா ஜுவல்லர்ஸில் ஜுவல்லரி வாங்கினேன் நீங்கள் டூ லேக்ஸ் போட்டு இருக்கிறீர்கள் என்று ப்ரூஃபை காண்பிக்க வேண்டும் டெல் த ரீடர் வாட் யூ எக்ஸ்பெக்ட் டு ஹேப்பன் நீங்கள் என்ன நடக்க வேண்டும் என்று நீங்கள் தெளிவாக அந்த நிறுவனத்துக்கு சொல்ல வேண்டும் அதாவது யூ வாண்ட் தெம் டு ஸ்டாப் பில்லிங் யூ இனிமேல் க இனிமேல் பில் அனுப்புவதை நிறுத்தி கொள்ளுங்கள் கிரெடிட் யூ அக்கௌண்ட் உங்களுடைய கணக்கை சரியாக பாருங்கள் ரீப்ளேஸ் த ப்ராடக்ட் இந்த பொருள் எனக்கு தேவையில்லை வேறு பொருள் கொடுங்க ரீடூ த சர்வீஸ் ஸ்டாப் த சர்வீஸ் ஏர்டெல்லும் வேண்டாம் எந்த டே இதுவும் வேண்டாம் என்று யூ ஆர் ஸ்டாப்பிங் த சர்வீஸ் ஏபிள் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் சார் ஸோ ரெஃப்யூசிங் டு பே பில் மறுப்பது ஒரு பில்லை கட்ட மாட்டேன் என்று சொல்வது தேங்க்யூ வெரி மச்